What's up guys, Matt Monas here, and in my hands I have two of the hottest smartphones of 2015. I have the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and the iPhone 6S Plus. Maybe you guys wanna buy one of these and you're not sure which one to get, or maybe you have one of them already and you're kinda of curious about the other one. Now, of course, this is a versus video, so I'm gonna put them up against each other to find out which one is the better smartphone. So let's get started. Apple always keeps the same design with the S cycle, and that's fine. The iPhone 6S Plus is still one of the best looking phones on the market today. It has a gorgeous metal unibody design that wraps around and blends into the screen. Apple has opted to use 7000 series aluminum this year, making the iPhone 6S stronger than its predecessor. It's also thicker and heavier due to the new Taptic engine being inside. The phone feels hefty and premium in the hand, but is still extremely slippery. Nothing like a skin or case to solve that problem. The S6 Edge Plus, on the other hand, is a totally new design for Samsung. It has a metal frame that's sandwiched between two panes of Gorilla Glass 4. It's thinner, lighter, and more narrow than the iPhone, even though the screen is 0.2 inches bigger. The phone feels just as premium as the iPhone, but instead of a smooth feel in the hand, the Edge screen gives it a sharp one instead. Both phones have protruding cameras on the back, with the Edge Plus being larger, and both also share the same location for the volume rocker and power buttons. On the bottom houses the external speaker, headphone jack, and charging port. So let's face it, both of these smartphones are absolutely beautiful. The iPhone 6S Plus has this beautiful unibody design, while the Samsung combines glass and metal. Now for this round, I'm gonna give it to the Samsung only because it's a lot easier to hold, it's smaller in your hand, and they actually managed to fit a 5.7 inch screen in a body that is significantly smaller than the 6S Plus. Next up is the display, and this is where things take a turn. The iPhone 6S Plus is still using a 1080p IPS panel with 401 pixels per inch. Don't get me wrong, it's still a good screen. Colors are well represented, it gets fairly bright, and viewing angles are good even in direct sunlight. But next to the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, it feels dated. The QHD Super AMOLED screen on the Edge Plus is just absolutely gorgeous. Sure, it might be oversaturated, but it's warmer, more vibrant, and the deep blacks allow consuming media a complete joy. But what's a good display without great speakers? Well, you won't find great speakers on either device. Both of them have placed them on the bottom of the phone, which is better than on the back, but I found myself covering them when playing games or watching movies in landscape mode. The sound quality itself is decent on both phones, but the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus gets louder with more of an echoey sound to it, while the iPhone didn't get as loud, but sounded a little bit more clean. They're both fairly close in quality and one doesn't really outperform the other. Both phones have a physical home button and fingerprint scanner on the front, which work extremely well. Apple's Touch ID is more accurate and faster at recognizing your finger, but the one on the S6 Edge Plus is good too. So for this round, I'm definitely gonna give the display win to the Edge Plus. It's more warm, it's vibrant, and I prefer the AMOLED panel inside of it over the IPS one on the iPhone 6S Plus. When it comes to sound quality, they're both fairly equal, so you can't go wrong with either one. And finally, when it comes to Touch ID and the fingerprint scanning, the iPhone 6S Plus is definitely more accurate and a little bit faster. Now I am gonna give the round to Samsung only because I weigh the quality of a display higher than I do the quality of a fingerprint scanner. When it comes to performance, both of these phones are fast, using top of the line chipsets and offering the best hardware available today. Apple's iPhone 6S uses the dual core A9 chip clocked at 1.86 gigahertz, while the Edge Plus uses Samsung's in-house Xenio 7420 octa-core processor. The four faster cores are clocked at 2.1 gigahertz and the slower ones at 1.5. So which one is actually faster? Well, based on real life use, I felt both of these phones were extremely fast. However, the iPhone 6S Plus did feel more fluid and that's mostly due to iOS being completely optimized for the hardware inside. Even though the iPhone only has two gigabytes of RAM compared to the four and the Edge Plus, it still kept apps running in the background without shutting them down. The Edge Plus has been known to have aggressive memory management issues, at least on the American version, but I found it to be a lot better than the regular S6 Edge. Now I do prefer real life usage over benchmarks, but they're still fun to look at. So let's get started with Geekbench first. The iPhone finished the test first and beat out the Galaxy single core speed. 
This is expected since dual core processors tend to be faster than their quad core counterparts. That's why a lot of games run better with higher clock dual core chips. But as expected, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus beat out the iPhone in the multi-core test as it should considering it has 8 cores to work with. But the funny thing is that it didn't beat it by much and it goes to show how truly powerful the A9 chip really is. Next up, I ran GFX OpenGL to test out the GPU performance. Apple has always had powerful GPUs inside of their smartphones and the trend continues with the 6S Plus. As you can see based on the final scores, the 6S completely dominates the S6 Edge in GPU performance. If gaming is your number one priority, then I highly recommend sticking with an iPhone. And finally, the last test I did was the browser test. To me, this is one of the most important tests as I'm constantly using my smartphone to read articles and look up information. I disabled all ad blockers and ran the JavaScript Sun Spider and HTML5 test. For the Sun Spider test, the iPhone 6S scored better at 219 milliseconds compared to the 658 on the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. But on the HTML5 test, the S6 Edge Plus beat out the iPhone with a score of 518. So for this round, I'm going to give it to the iPhone 6S Plus. It has better GPU performance and single core performance, which is a lot better for you gamers out there. And don't get me wrong, the S6 Edge Plus is still a very fast phone. It probably has some of the best hardware on an Android device today. And to be quite honest, phones are so fast right now, you're probably not going to notice that much of a difference. Also, Apple is really able to optimize their software to take advantage of their hardware. So this round definitely goes to Apple. Now you're probably wondering why I don't have a software comparison between both of these phones. And I was gonna put that in the video, but I decided to leave it out because these are completely different platforms. At the end of the day, they both offer similar functions like being able to use your phone, text message, and pretty much have the same collection of apps but it really comes down to personal preference on whether you prefer iOS or Android. Battery life is important when you buy a big phone. You expect the battery life to be good. The iPhone 6S Plus has a 2750 milliamp battery and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus has a 3000 milliamp one. To be honest, I found the battery life to be pretty similar with both phones, but slightly better with the S6 Edge Plus. I'd start the day around 5 a.m. and end it around 10 p.m. with around 25 to 30% battery life left. With iOS 9, Apple introduced low power mode to the iPhone, and I recommend enabling it around 20% as you can effectively squeeze some extra juice out of it. And the Samsung has ultra power saving mode that can literally squeeze a day of battery at 10% charge. However, a lot of important things get disabled on the Edge Plus. For one, your screen is set to black and white, and all your essential apps are not usable, pretty much leaving you left with messages, Facebook, and the phone dialer. But the Edge Plus does have a few other battery advantages. For one, it can be wirelessly charged, Two, it has fast charging, which lets you top up your battery from zero to 100 in 120 minutes, which is actually half the time that it takes to charge an iPhone 6S Plus. The iPhone 6S Plus has an upgraded camera, it now houses a 12 megapixel shooter, while the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus sports the same 16 megapixel camera found in the regular Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. The camera on both of these phones are awesome. They both have quick shortcut keys to get to them, on the S6 Edge Plus, you double tap the home button, and on the 6S Plus, you simply use the control center. The iPhone 6S Plus camera interface is a lot more clean looking, making it simple to snap a photo, while the Edge Plus I found to be more cluttered, but with a lot more useful features. For instance, you can set the camera into manual mode and line up the perfect shot. So enough about the camera software, which one is actually better? Well, it's hard to say. They're both really good, with the iPhone favoring more of a natural look and feel, while the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus produces more vibrant and saturated photos. The 6S Plus and the Edge Plus both have a 5 megapixel front facing camera. The biggest difference between both cameras is that the one on the Edge has a wider field of view so that you can fit more people into the frame. In terms of quality, the Galaxy has more pleasing colors but tends to aggressively smooth the skin while the iPhone boosts color reproduction. And finally, 4K video recording, which is new to the iPhone but not the Edge. So which one does it better? Well, it's the same story. The iPhone boosts more natural colors, while the Galaxy tends to oversaturate the image, giving it a vibrant look and feel. Both phones do a fantastic job of focusing super fast and support autofocus. Look, when it comes to camera quality, both of these phones take amazing photos. Do you prefer natural looking photos or do you prefer the more vibrant, saturated photos from the S6 Edge Plus? Me personally, I prefer the photos that the S6 Edge Plus takes. I like my photos to come to life 
And I think the S6 Edge Plus does that extremely well. At the end of the day, you're not going to be disappointed with either camera. So for this round, I'm going to give it to Samsung. So the big question, which one is the better smartphone? Is it the Edge Plus or is it the 6S Plus? I'll be honest with you, I love both of these phones, but I found the Edge Plus to have a better display. I really love that vibrant AMOLED panel. I found the design to be a little bit more better, being able to squeeze in a 5.7 inch form factor in a phone that's actually smaller than the 6S Plus. I also found the battery life to be slightly better. Being able to wirelessly charge it and fast charging is definitely great. And I just found the camera to be slightly better. I find the vibrant, warmer photos on the Edge Plus to be more appealing to me than the natural looking photos on the iPhone 6S Plus. But the iPhone definitely was a lot faster, it felt smoother, it was a lot more optimized, and I prefer the app ecosystem on the iPhone. At the end of the day, it really comes down to your personal preference on whether you like Android or iOS. I like both, I've been using Android for over three years. Now I'm gonna start using an iPhone just for the next little while to test it out just because I love tech in general and it's always good to try both sides of the coin. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I wanna know what you guys prefer, the Edge Plus or the 6S Plus in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video.